I suppose the flip side of aging is another disease of aging called cancer, which everybody is familiar with. And cancer is, is characterized by cells that do not age. They carry on dividing in an uncontrolled way. They've, lo they've overcome the barriers that provide a normal limit to lifespan. And so it turns out that in cancer and in normal stem cells, there's a, there's a, there's a link. Stem cells, in the normal stem cells live a long time, are useful for replacing normal tissue, but it do, it's done so in a very controlled way. Cancer, on the other hand, another disease that's in general associated with an aging population, is characterized by cells that have already become immortalized. And so we can actually learn a little bit from cancer about how maybe to adapt normal stem cells to, to provide regenerative medicine. But equally, we can learn from stem cells how cancer has overcome certain barriers to, to immortality. And one of the, the major impacts of some of the work we've been doing and other people in the cancer field, for example, is to realize that cancers are not homogeneous populations that used to be um, considered as, as, a, as a target for therapy, but they're, they're actually mixed population that within the tumors there will be cells that are, resemble more normal cells the, from the tissue of origin of the cancer, also cells that are dividing. But there are also, and it's only really in the last few years that it's been realized this is the case, there will also be stem cell-like cells, cells that have properties very related to normal stem cells. And so our work and, and the work on the Stem Cell Institute in general is to understand how we can use normal stem cells, how to identify them, how we can use them for regenerative medicine. And on the other hand, to understand also how in the process of, of developing cancer, those normal biological processes are, are subverted to give rise to tumors and the relationship between the different types of cells in our normal body to those in cancer that we think are, need to be targeted by therapy.